morning all. Welcome once again. I trust you all are keeping well and that you are surviving the isolation and hopefully you are not lonely. Uh, because our previous message was about relationships and we should realize and recognize that we are never alone because God is with us. And today's topic is once lost but now found. And Ecclesiastes tells us a time to search and a time to count out as lost. A time to keep and a time to throw away. And I always tell Monica that when we clean the house, there's a lot of stuff lying around for many years that we should get rid of it, but she don't, doesn't want to do it. So my motto in my garage, with garage, which is my territory, if there's something that I haven't used for two years, I get rid of it. Otherwise, you just keep on leaping up. A few, a few weeks before my mother passed away from this earth to be with, be with the Lord, she gave me a simple gold wedding band. I decided to wear it every day in memory of her. Each night I remove my jewelry and sometimes I leave them off if it is a home day. One morning I couldn't find the ring anywhere. The other pieces were there but not the treasure ring. Panic struck as I kept going over it in my mind. And I think we, the word here panic is, is something I think we all experience it many times. Looking for your car keys, your house keys, the alarm or something, all your jewelry or something. You know I had it here but where is it now? And that, that, that sinking feeling of panic that takes hold of you. <clears throat> With sadness I gave up the ring as lost. I believe the Holy Spirit prompted me to ask our housekeeper to empty the vacuum cleaner. There it was, covered in dust, but there nonetheless. And it, it makes me or reminds me of the thing where somebody was looking for his or her glasses and eventually they found it in the fridge because they, they placed it in the fridge when they took it off to see what's in, inside the fridge. Only once we have lost something of value, only once we have lost something of value do we realize the importance of keeping and treasuring what we have. Today is the perfect day to determine, to, to determine what needs to have more of your attention and value added to it. Similarly, it could also be the right time to have a mental and a physical spring clean to clear out the clutter that can so easily swamp you and make you feel overwhelmed. So like you do a spring clean of your house, this piece tells us today mentally and physically we also need to do that from time to time. And I think a physical sprinkling is for each one of us, especially around these times, to keep on exercising, to keep ourselves healthy, because that will also keep your mind healthy, if you focus on living healthy in these times. The message this morning is from Proverbs, Proverbs 3.24, and it says, Your mind will be clear, free from fear. When you lie down to rest, you will be refreshed by sweet sleep. And I like this part, your mind will be free from fear when you lie down to this. And this is what we need now so to support each other, to support the people around us, and just to convince them that God is in control, you do not have to fear. And you, when you lie down to this, you will be refreshed by a sweet sleep. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for being with each one of our staff members at this very moment, touching each one of us being with our loved ones, being with the people of Namibia. And we ask, Lord, that you will help us to keep healthy, to keep our minds fresh, to keep our minds positive, to exercise, so that we can enjoy your health and your energy that you want to bless us each with. But we have the responsibility to look after ourselves and our bodies. Please help us to achieve that in these times. Each one's circumstances are different, Lord, and not everybody has the opportunity or the access to do, to do it but guide us through the Holy Spirit so that we at least keep our minds fresh and clean and full of your positive thoughts. Oh Lord, we ask that you will be with our people in Namibia. We ask for calm and peace. And then we ask that you will bless everybody with health. And we know, Lord, that you are in control and this whole epidemic and pandemic will be over very soon because you love us so much. Father, thank you for your kindness, your mercy and your grace. And thank you also for your forgiveness of our past mistakes. We honor you for that in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay, all well, keep well and see you next time.